Capricorn, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for March 27th to the 31st. Let's jump on in and see what may be on the cards for you. What we have here, Capricorn, are some guiding energies and a lead tarot energy. And I have your nine card block that describes your situation. Capricorn, got a lot of big energies here with a ten of swords, ten of wands, seven of swords. You know, it really feels like you've been, you know, you've been going through something. But the good news is I feel that you are about to really come out the other side. So we'll get to that. Let's start over here. So the Moonology card says a time for healing. OK, it feels like it is almost time for you to take a big sigh of relief. Soon you'll be able to breathe out and know that this this phase or what you've been journeying or this load that you've been carrying, you know, it, it's almost over some kind of big recovery or struggle. Now, the four of swords is at the heart of the reading. So I can see that you've been, you know, needing to rest or heal or recover from a situation here. And what I feel this uh, recovery or this healing is going to lead you to is that finally Capricorn, you'll have maybe the energy, um, you know, maybe the time to move towards some kind of inner calling. Because I get the sense that this healing journey was very encompassing for you or the struggle. You know, I mean, it could have been a major deception with the cards that I'm seeing here or a major disappointment or grieving process here. It is part of your journey. And I think, you know, it's really made you the person that you are today, Capricorn. But it's time for you now. It's what I'm hear hearing. And it's time for you to connect with your inner calling. Nine of Pentacles is your lead energy and Capricorn. This is one of the, you know, one of my favorite and the most best and capable and confident and healed earth sign energies of the tarot. So I feel like you're in a cocooning stage and you're just about to emerge as that butterfly. Yes, I know that might sound cheesy, but this is that point of change where you're like, you know what, I'm good. Actually, I'm feeling better than ever. I'm looking better and I'm magnetic again. This calling as well could have something to do, you know, with some kind of entrepreneurial journey you've always wanted to follow or, you know, going out on your own and something, becoming more independent, becoming more financially secure or set up. And spirit wants you to know that you have everything you need for that journey, Capricorn. OK, just before I jump into your block and read that and before I forget, if you'd like a personal reading or healing Capricorn, please do follow the first link down below to my website to check those out and follow me on Instagram for daily readings. And I do pull cards for, for, um, for followers from time to time. So you'll need to be over there when I put the shout out. I'll also link my free learn tarot quick guide down below if you'd like to get started reading the cards too. Okay, let's jump in. So Capricorn, Seven of Swords is here, first card, and you will notice that it came out in reverse, but I turned it back up for the purposes of the reading. The Seven of Swords can be some kind of deception incident or some, some kind of situation where we feel like someone was maybe being dishonest with us or broke our trust, broke our loyalty. You know, it could be deception, it could be self-sabotage. I feel like that is what you are recovering from. So when we go through these kind of situations, it can be so hard to recover from because we can really lose our faith in others. So I feel like there was that kind of situation there. And I think it's led you to somewhat disconnect Capricorn. OK, you know, I see that four of cups here and it's somebody who's like, well, my solution is I just won't turn. I just won't let anyone in. But what I'm hearing here is that you've also closed yourself down to other opportunities. You've closed your heart. You've closed your energy field. And when we do that, we're not magnetic. We're the opposite of that, that nine of pentacles energy. Now, we also have the, the Knight of Swords here. That is a Gemini energy. I also have Virgo with the Knight of Pentacles coming through. You might be dealing with one of those signs. But the, the Knight of Swords also feels like this was a bit of a battle for you. You know, the Knight of Swords can be a harsh energy when, you know, it's, it's in its shadow side. It can be quite irrational. It can be somebody who... Maybe is gaslighting using words to undermine or manipulate. So I think that further describes 
you know what you went through there but what I also see here Capricorn is how the Knight of Swords is is heading that away right whereas the Knight of Pentacles is here is heading this away so I think it set you back I think it set you back a little bit in terms of your progress with what you wanted to achieve with your goals with your dreams because there was a lapse in that trust or you know maybe you just had that healing or recovery to to do there so the four of cups is saying to me that it's time for you to reconnect with first of all your joy your three of cups your joy your happiness because that's going to help you raise your vibration but to get back onto this uh dream you know the three for me is the empress's number it's the manifestation it's what you've wanted to birth into the world or who you want to become through rebirth and it's time for you to connect with that reality again capricorn to come out uh come out of that cocooning stage so you're the ten of swords you went through a painful ending if there is still some remnants of this situation it feels that very soon that will finalize you know, maybe there's an energy of I just have to go a little bit longer with, you know, tying up the loose ends of this situation. And very soon you'll be able to put down this kind of weight that you carry because the Ten of Wands is here as well. It's like I'm almost done with this. So just a little bit longer is what I'm hearing here if you're still in it. But my goodness, that sun energy, you know, which really is indicative of the Knight of Pentacles down here. The, the future ahead, the new plan, the new path is opening for you. So new doors are opening, a new path illuminated by the light. And Spirit is saying there's something about this, this situation that you needed to experience to take along with you on this new journey. It will make sense down the track. So Four of Swords, you're in recovery, you're resting, you're processing the disappointment, maybe a severing of ties here. Whether this is in love or whether this was in work career, I think that there really is a final ending and a going, you know, totally different directions or you've already done that, but you are still processing it. And I think, um, you know, the question is where to now? Because there's a crossroads energy coming through. So it could even be that you've had a time on stress leave if this is work career or even relationship you know you really needed a time on your own or maybe even time off work there's a real energy of I need to recover alone here but you're coming out of that and the question is well what does my next chapter hold so the two of swords says well you know what there's some decisions to make here Capricorn there's some things to weigh up and I think that clarity that breakthrough that insight will come to you during this retreating and resting and reflecting period so be really mindful of you know your insights and your thoughts during that time because there will be wisdom there coming through intuitively for you so it's about looking inwards at this time looking inwards yes processing that grief that you did go through but also making the decision well I'm not going to wear that cloak that heavy cloak of sadness anymore I'm actually going to to move forward now because there is new connections and new opportunities new emotional beginnings coming through for you and very soon you'll be able to to put this this load down so the last card is the Knight of Pentacles Capricorn and it's a plan for the future. It can also be a messenger of new opportunity with that first seed to plant, right? The, this is the Ace of Pentacles here. So there could be some early stage conversations with somebody that leads to something that leads to that first stepping stone on the new path. Either way, Spirit is saying, get planning here, Capricorn. That thing, that inner calling, it's time to take the step. It's time to start it because this is going to be your new path and your new future. So execute the plan, get the details together, get prepared to really come out of this recovery phase and reconnect and re-engage with life again. So let's get one more. For that outcome what have we got oh the knight of cups with that pisces energy so two knights messengers of opportunity so 
this is a new offer, proposal or invitation. Yes, it could be in love or work career. It would be an opportunity that has the promise of making you happy, but also filling your cup, also giving back to you, also, you know, making you satisfied and content again and Akashic Records. This was all meant to happen this way. It was written for you. It's part of the experience that you signed up to have before you incarnated here, Capricorn. This is really, uh, you know, a series of fated events here that Spirit saying this couldn't happen, this new beginning with this new organization or person or whatever it is, without you going through this pathway first. So I feel that you'll end up in a great place and in some way you might be thankful for the learning that you've been through. So that's what I have for you Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hope it gave you some clarity, guidance and insight. I'm cheering you on and of course wishing you so much love and magic. Do take care. Bye for now.